and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Cringer, I can't become He-Man without it. Watch it, this is my only suit. We've got to warn the others. Battle Cat, where are you when I need you? Who needs he man? They're still coming. There's no way out. There's no way out. There's no. No. No, you, you must go back. You were banished, Dark Dream. As you can see, I'm back. <laughs> How did you escape the Chamber of Darkness? I sealed it myself. You will soon know. You're under arrest. I'm no longer your prisoner. Slime monsters. Slime monsters? Hey, I was having the same dream. There haven't been any slime monsters on Eternia since... Since Dark Dream was sealed in his chamber. Come on, Cringer. Dark Dream's coming back. We know. He gave all of us nightmares. Not only is Dark Dream returning, but his powers are stronger than ever.
<laughs> I hope they enjoyed their little nightmares. Now they will know I'm returning. And it is up to you to put Eternia into total darkness so I can leave these chambers. Why have you called me here? I haven't the power to darken the Eternian sun. Evelyn is right, my lord. It is an impossible task. Impossible? Well, do it anyway. You know I can only live in darkness. But my powers no longer work well on Eternia. They are too weak. The sorceress saw to that. And what about you, Evelyn? It would take more power than mine alone. <sighs> There must be a way! Find it! Or that one which gives you so much power will be returned to the black pool from which it came! How could Dark Dream's powers have escaped? Well, the seal on the chamber must have been broken. Would have taken a large explosion or a land disturbance. <laughs> I had a rough night. It's about time you woke up. Well, I can't get any sleep around here. What with all the explosions? Explosions? Where, Arco? In the Crimson Valley. They've been keeping me awake for days. But that's so far from here. Orko can hear a pin drop in the Tanglewood Forest. They've been setting off some big blasts out there. Could those explosions have broken the seal to Dark Dream's chambers? Well, the seal is here. And the Crimson Valley is here. They're awfully close. That's solid granite. They must be using nodroxin. Nodroxin? It's the most powerful explosive on Eternia. Teela, you and Adam fly out and take a look at the seal. We have to know if it's been broken. Up. There will be an eclipse of their sun. Tavo's powers may not work on Eternia, but the moon is another planet. Can you move the moon, Tavor? Yes, with Evelyn's help. The last time you cast a spell, Tavor, the Banshee jungle turned into a desert. Oh, everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> How long will this eclipse last? As long as I wish it to. Eternia will be lost in eternal darkness. You will be free to go wherever you choose, even to Castle Greyskull. <sighs> then do it, Tabor. <laughs> do it. has overtaken Tila's mind again. She can't fly her sky sled. Wake up, Tila, wake up! I've got to save her. Tila, wake up! You're gonna crash! This calls for He-Man.
there's no time to lose. By the power of Grayskull. You're safe. That's all that matters. But... But how did I land? No, I helped you. You? Yeah. Uh, come on, let's uh, check that seal. The explosions have broken the seal. This crack allowed Dark Dream to use his powers. They've started the blasting again. They're gonna break the seal open completely. We've got to stop them. Bring on the Eclipse Tavor. I must leave here. <laughs> Moon, moon, hear my cry. When I clap my hands, move through the sky. <laughs> the seal on Dark Dream's chamber's been broken. We'll have to reseal it immediately before he escapes. We've got to hurry. Once our sun has set, Dark Dream becomes stronger. Hey, what's going on? We're floating. Orko? Hey, I didn't do it. I, I, I don't think I... What's causing it? How do you like it? I don't. Oops. Wow, this is something. Something strange, all right. No! You need flying lessons, pal. Hey, I can't lift my legs. Our gravity is getting stronger. It's pulling us down. This is creepy. It's getting dark. And it's the middle of the afternoon. Father, we're having an eclipse of the sun. We aren't due for an eclipse for two years. Our moon must be out of its orbit. Oh, that explains the gravity problems. But who would tamper with nature? Dark Dream. <laughs> Finally, I have escaped. Now for the secrets of Grayskull, so I can keep Eternia in darkness forever. Duncan, look at the moon. It's getting larger. The moon is heading for our planet. It can't be true. The moon is going to collide with Eternia. Even Dark Dream doesn't have enough power to stop this from happening. But we must stop this some way. The only place we can turn to is Grayskull. Let's go. <laughs> Evil has disturbed nature. But you can save Eternia. Not until I know what evil force was used against our moon. I must find the answer. I can't let her go alone. Soon I'll be inside, Grey Skull. What's that? A falcon! It's going to attack. I'll stop it. Not so fast, evil Lynn. My powers are weakening this close to Grayskull. I must have my wand. Leatherbats, capture that falcon. <laughs> If you can 
fly with a little more weight. No, stop. <laughs> Look, it's Dark Dream. Come on. Sorceress, I've come to rule Grayskull. Not so fast, Dark Dream. Well, if it isn't my old friend, Man at Arms. <laughs> what do you think of my eclipse? Look, you moved the moon out of its orbit, now it's heading right for us, you included. What? I asked for an eclipse, not a collision. I guess that I made a small error. Small? Eternia is finally mine and you're about to wipe it out of the universe? Stop it! I can't! I don't have that much power! Try! There's the sorceress. Maybe she can help. She's been captured. Look! We'll have to get Dark Dream to release her. And give away the secret of Zoar the Falcon? Oh, we've sworn never to reveal it. Man at Arms, Adam is right. You must not reveal the secret. But Eternia will be destroyed. You must find another way to save us. I... I cannot stop it, Dark Dream. The moon's getting closer. The sorceress said another way. How can we possibly move the moon back into its orbit? The Nodroxin. If it's exploded in the atmosphere... Yes, it might work. But you wouldn't be able to get it close enough to the moon. Well, I wouldn't, but He-Man would. My... my power! It is gone! Fool! There must be a way to escape! <laughs> there is! For me! Farewell, Dark Dream! Cowardly witch! <laughs> the Wind Raider! I can escape in that! Oh, no you don't! Stop, Tila! Why, you... Your turn, Man-at-Arms! Run! Now! They're getting away! Never mind. We've got the Wind Raider. Come on! You're not going anywhere, Dark Dream. You destroyed it! By the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> oh, here it comes again. Dream on, Dark Dream. Sorceress, hear me. There must be something you can do. I hear you, Man at Arms. I can do nothing to save Eternia while I'm in this body. And our fate is in the hands of He-Man. Oh, hurry, He-Man, hurry. Master Battle Cat. We're almost to the mountaintop. Let's see. That one will be perfect. Be careful, Tila. There's enough nadroxin in that urn to blow this entire planet to bits. It's all yours. <laughs> One person, our last hope, He-Man. No, no, not, not, not the sun. I can't stand the sun. <laughs> well, 
man. It's a beautiful sunny day. Go out and enjoy it. Hey, let's go on a picnic. I'll bring the food. And... Oh, no! I knew things were going too well. Orko. You didn't think I'd leave you like that, did you? Orko, get back here. Orko! In today's story, I had a bad dream. You know, bad dreams or nightmares happen to everyone, and they can seem pretty real, but they aren't. They're no more real than any make-believe story or fairy tale. So don't be ashamed or afraid of telling anybody about your dream. It happens to all of us. And like so many other things, talking it over with your mother or your father or maybe even a good friend can make you feel a whole lot better. Bye for now and pleasant dreams. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Here. In a moment, Professor, I'm I'm ready to test my converter. If this works, we'll have a meal converted from sand and chemicals. Looks terrible, but it tastes good, and it's filled with healthy protein. Oh, congratulations. And uh, now uh, come and see what I have found. Uh, by chance, I uh, happen to notice a loose brick. You may have the honor of opening it, Duncan. Why, it's a book. A book that has been lost for centuries. Uh, this is Professor Smolin speaking. Uh, Tila, can you hear me? I believe we have uncovered the Book of Ancient Eternia. That's wonderful! It is written in the ancient language. We must translate it. Can you interface the Lango computer uh, to the radio? I'm one step ahead of you, Professor. It's all set. Oh, smart girl, that one. <laughs> of course, she takes after me. All right, here we go. Page one. Zactons, thousand-year-old robots. Why, we're surrounded by, by uh, antiques. 
Maybe so, Professor, but I think they mean business. Professor, what were those noises? Sir, come in. We're ready to begin translating. Come in, please. Are you all right? Father, are you there? I, I think you are right. Hey, Orko. Tila was supposed to give me another navigating lesson. Have you seen her? She went up to the radio room. But look at my new trick first. Orko, that's a winner. Here, Cranger, have an apple. Oh. Hey, that apple was green. Yuck. Next time, you'll know better. <laughs> Let's go. Professor, please come in. Father, will somebody please answer? Something's terribly wrong, I know it. Perhaps it's just interference. No. Before the transmission ended, there was some kind of explosion. Come in, Professor. Come in, please. Oh, it's no use. I must get to them quickly. What's wrong? There's no time to explain. Look, the radar screen. A storm's brewing in the desert. Hey, what's this all about, anyway? Tila's father took Professor Smolin to the Sands of Time Desert. Professor Smolin? With the university? Yes, apparently they're in some sort of trouble. And Tila's going to fly there. Come on, Cringer, let's catch her before she leaves. <laughs> Tila, there's a big storm in the desert. You'll need a navigator. Oh, great. All right, hop in. <laughs> My tummy's starting to hurt. I think I'll go lie down. It was only one little apple, Cringer. Come on. Hurry! My father and the professor may be hurt. Like I said, I think I'll lie down. Uh, Wake me when it's over. Can you plot coordinates without sightings? You taught me, remember? We have come in peace. You have robbed us of our ancient treasures. Uh, no, we are only cataloging them. We will not take them. You have even used the very sand on which the sacred treasure lies. I was testing a survival kit. Please, let me show you. See, I just mix some of these pellets and... It makes protein foods. It may also be able to extract water. We are not impressed. We are Zakta computers. We do not eat or drink. We protect the sacred treasures of the ancients. You must pay for what you have done. Now wait, what are you going to do? Duncan, quick, this way. Change course to C-11-5. Are you sure of the coordinates? Yes, there's a large cave just outside the ancient city. It should be a safe place to land. I can't hold it on course. Just keep correcting to C-11-5. something that should please Skeletor for a change. I'll just go out there and pick up the pieces. <laughs> uh oh what happened? Adam, I think we really goofed this time. Where are we? You got me. Are you all right? I think so. Tila? What's happened to Tila? Oh, she's hurt. I've got to get her out. Oh, I'm, I'm still feeling funny in the tummy. 
I'm trapped. But He-Man could do it. Really, Anima? I haven't got the stomach for it today. By the power of Grayskull. He-Man. Don't try to talk. You've hit your head. Oh. Tila, if only my powers could make you well and strong again. Help me, sorceress. I need the wisdom of Grayskull now. Wisdom that matches my strength. I hear you, He-Man. Help is at hand. <laughs> What should I do? I understand. Thank you, sorceress. I'm most grateful for your messenger. Come on, Battle Cat. We've got to find Man at Arms and the Professor. Which way? To the ancient ruins. We've reached the eye of the storm. It's a whirlwind. Grab on. underneath. I've got an idea. What are you doing? Making a little trap for the storm. Here it comes! the storm underground. Hey, isn't that a wind raider? Sure is. Man at arms and the professor must be close by. <laughs> Something's going on over that way. Please, we meant no harm. <laughs> What's wrong? Keep back. I'd like to help. You are our enemy. Why would you want to help an old robot? I'm not an enemy. I'm a man of... of science. I'll need my tools for my ship. It's outside. We cannot allow you to leave. All who came before you came to rob and plunder. We 
must protect the treasures. You just don't understand, do you? You are the enemy. This must be the place. Hmm. Think I'll need this. <laughs> Thank you, Great Bird. I'm feeling better. Much better. You... you can leave now if you want. Thank you! Ah. Now you're alone! Trapjaw! I might have known. You're always around when there's trouble. You're hardly any match for me, or for this. <laughs> now, where are Prince Adam and that overgrown? Pet to his. I don't know. Well, then suppose we find him. <laughs> this must be what he wanted. Revive him. <laughs> Prove yourself. We will watch very carefully. I'll do nothing to harm any of you. You'll see. Man at arms. What's this? No, don't hurt them. But are they friends or enemies? Enemies only to those who would destroy them. You can trust them. That's He-Man. He-Man, friend to all. It is so recorded in my memory, old as it is. You're not old. Some of your parts are worn, but they can be fixed. With a little time, I'll have you good as new. Impossible. No, oh, it's not impossible. I'll just need He-Man and the Professor to help me. A sat on trick. Look out, it's Trapjaw. Yeah, I'll fix them for you, man at arms. No, don't. Why not, he man? Are you going to stop me? Yeah. Move back. <laughs> not good enough, trap jaw. <laughs> How's this? <laughs> what do you want? You, he man. All of you. As a little present for Skeletor. <laughs> Good, not anymore. <laughs> Quickly, time suspend trap jaw. I'll try. <laughs> you can't hurt me. Can't you do anything but brag? That away, Battle Cat. You want me to look around? Forget it. I'm not falling for that old trick. <laughs> no, you can't. I, I, oh. That's amazing. Will you revive the professor now? Yes. <laughs> Uh, no, wait, we were only cataloging. Huh? He-Man, Battle Cat, how, uh, uh, what? What has happened to this poor fellow? Uh, nothing that can't be fixed. Dealer, let's get to work. Will Kappa be all right? We'll do our very best, I promise. You know, Battle Cat, sometimes I feel sorry for Trap Jaw. <laughs> You do? Why? Just imagine having to go to the prison mines like this. <laughs> You're a big help, Teela. Thank you, Father. I wonder what happened to He-Man and Battle Cat. Oh, they probably took Trapjaw to the prison mines. <laughs> uh, Kappa showed me another room of artifacts. And I am feeling very fit. Thanks to you, Man-at-Arms, and to you too, Dila. We're glad we could help. Now, 
I think it's time we return, Professor. I suppose you are right. We wish you to have this with our thanks. I'm very honored, but this belongs with the other treasures for all to see and enjoy. Yes, yes. Let us return and build a great display for the treasures. A special place for all Eternians to view this wonderful work. Yes, we want you to return. Well, I have to get back to my own Wind Raider. Goodbye. 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 I guess that does it, huh? Well, I guess so. Thanks for all your help. Uh, I'm very good at supervising. Now, so I've noticed. There you are. Tila, where have you been? Where have I been? What about you? We've been fixing the Wind Raider. We? Uh, did we miss anything? Oh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Let's go. Now for a nice nap. Don't you want to hear my story? Well, I thought you weren't going to tell us. Well... There were all these treasures, you see, and... Uh-huh. And then Trapjaw showed up. Trapjaw? Yes. That was before the robots appeared. Robots? Today we saw Professor Smolin find a great treasure. It wasn't gold or jewels, but something even more precious, knowledge. There are many places to find knowledge, and one of the easiest and best is a museum. Museums are storehouses of knowledge where you can see and learn all sorts of fascinating things. There's probably one close to you, so pay a visit. Remember, knowledge is power, and you can get the power. the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, by the power of Grayskull. became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. to be a brave warrior. Yes, and someday I will save the kingdom from one of Skeletor's evil deeds. Uh, <laughs> Orko, we are thirsty. Oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Don't be such a scaredy cat, Cringe. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. It's only thunder. Mm, I'm not so sure, Adam. I don't know, Tila, but I have a strange feeling we're going to find out soon enough. Oh, no! What is it, Orko? He's coming! He's, he's coming! Hey, who? I don't know, but he's sure upset. Come on, let's find out. Well, 
leave it to Cringer to find the hiding places. All right, Orko. Now, what's this all about? <laughs> it's, it's the evil Aramis from my d d d dimension. He's coming after me. Evil? <laughs> hmm. You know, I've heard that name before. Yes, me too. Tell us more, Orko. Aramis is, is an electroid from my dimension. An electroid? That's a robot made of pure energy, isn't it? That's right, Adam. Tell me, Orko, why is he after you? I have a hunch your question is about to be answered, Father. I am Aramesh. I have come for the secret thing. And Orko, the icon, has it. <laughs> So that little floating bag of wind has a secret hidden somewhere. Perhaps we should let this walking light bulb Aramesh do our dirty work for us. <laughs> what is your plan, Skeletor? I shall bring this Aramesh here and make a deal with him. Ah, so we can help him get the secret for himself. <laughs> no, you fuzz brain. We help him get the secret for me. It won't be long now. I want Orko, the icon. I think that's far enough. Out of my way. Bright boy, put him down. Uh, they'll be all right. Just had the wind knocked out of them. Cringer. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for us to take over, old buddy. Let's move. Oh, no. Here we go again. By the power of Grey Sky! Took a hard jolt. Aramesh has taken Orko. Will you two be all right? Yes. Hurry. Teela and I will follow you in the Wind Raider. Right. Come on, cat. Something on the scanner just north of you, He Man. There it is, Father. Should be coming into view any moment, He Man. I see it, Duncan. I'll take it from here, guys. Thanks. Transport lever, beast man. Ah, <laughs> yes, Skeletor. Now to find the creature's exact electrical frequency, and the robot will be in my possession to do my bidding. <laughs> He-Man! 
He man will not spoil my plans this time. Out of my way, puny mortal. Oops, you shouldn't have said that. Quiet, Icon. I said out of my way. I'll be glad to, as soon as you hand over my little friend. You'll have to do better than that. Surprise, He-Man! I'll take my little friend now. <laughs> what happened, He-Man? I don't know, Tila. Aramesh and Orko just disappeared. Battle Cat and I will meet you and Duncan back at the palace. <laughs> Soon the electroid and that little floating runt will be in my possession. Skeletor! No need to be upset, my friend. I brought you here to help you get the secret you seek. You help get secret for Aramis? Skeletor help someone? Oh, brother. Silence, you little bag of wind. Why, you, you want to help me? Those who would prevent you from getting the secret are my enemies. Perhaps if I help you get the secret, you will help me take over Eternia. Agreed? It is agreed. Oh, no. Oh, yes! <laughs> I suspect, He-Man, Aramash's vanishing act was not his doing. What do you mean, Father? As I remember from my studies in robotics, Teela, electroids cannot vanish by their own energy. Hmm. Why do I get the strange feeling that Skeletor has something to do with this? How right you are, He-Man! Skeletor! Beast Man! What evil tricks are you up to this time, Skeletor? No trick, He-Man. I brought you a present. Show them, Beast Man. <laughs> Orko! If you have harmed him at all, you'll answer to me. My, my, he wasn't touched. Steady, big cat. All right, Skeletor. You're not known for doing favors. What's the catch? A little demand, He-Man. We're not in the mood for demands. You will grant this one. What kind of demand? That Orko turns over the secret thing of the other dimension to me. And if we don't accept your demands? Then I will unleash the Electroid Robot on your kingdom, my dear. We must talk this over. We will give you our answer in one hour, Skeletor. One hour, He-Man. <laughs> It looks like we have our work cut out for us. Orko, where have you hidden this secret thing? Castle Grayskull. Castle, Castle Grayskull? Grayskull? Then we're off to Castle Grayskull, Orko. You two stay here and try to stall Skeletor. We'll need all the time we can get. Come on, big cat, we must hurry. <laughs> is using Aramis to get the secret and gain the kingdom. We must somehow trick Aramis into going back to Orko's dimension. Orko, get the dimension sphere. Yes, ma'am. Dimension sphere? So, this is what Skeletor and that overgrown short circuit are after. Yes, this is the secret thing. In the days of the old kingdom, icons like Orko 
were the keepers of the sphere. Since that time, the sphere has remained at Castle Grayskull. And Aramesh thinks Orko used the sphere to come into this dimension, not knowing that it was an accident. That's when I was found in a tar swamp. Can we locate the dimension tunnel with the sphere? Yes, He-Man. Once opened, can it be closed? Yes, my powers can seal the tunnel, but I will only have strength enough for one try. I think I have an idea, and I'm going to need the help of both of you. Here's the plan. My patience grows short, man-at-arms. Where is He-Man and that little mischief-maker? He-Man will be here soon. He and Orko went to the tar swamp for... Um, uh... The tar swamp? So that's where the secret is. I'm afraid you've made a slip on this one, man-at-arms. Where is Aramis? He's gone! Lose someone, Skeletor? You overgrown fur coat, you let him get away! We must hurry to the swamp before Aramis gets there! We'll just hold your friends till you get back, Skeletor. I'll deal with you later, man at arms. He man's plan is working so far, Father. Like clockwork, Tila. Speaking of clockwork, He man, come in. Did you hear everything? Yes, I heard it, man at arms. Everything's going according to plan. Beast man and evil Lynn are locked up, and Skeletor is on his way. Good work. We'll take it from here. He-Man, good luck. Thanks, Tila. See you later. He-Man out. Well, you ready, Orko? Uh, I'm ready. Are you ready, Zoar? <laughs> well, you're right on time, Brightface. Give me the spear. It belongs with me. Nice of you to drop in on us, Skeletor. We've been expecting you. You overgrown alley cat. <laughs> this is no time for jokes, He-Man. I want the secret now. I'm afraid that decision is up to Orko. Besides, uh, Aramesh got here first. <laughs> The kingdom is in your hands. Here goes everything. No, stop. I'm returning the sphere to the other dimension where it belongs. Is some kind of trick. My powers can't hold the tunnel open much longer, He Man. Did you think you could trick me? I'm not going in there like that fool, Skeletor. <laughs> Nice try, but not good enough. Hurry, He-Man. I can't hold on much longer. Hang on, Zoar. No, He-Man. Don't touch him. I have no choice but to... His energy will drain you of your power. <clears throat> Throw him into the tunnel. My... <clears throat> my strength... <clears throat> I have no strength. Put me down. <laughs> no, Orko. No. Well done, Orko. I'm proud of you. I'm sure glad that's over. If it hadn't been for He-Man, He-Man. Are you all right? 
What happened? By grabbing Aramish, you absorbed his electrical energy. No mortal man had ever done that before. The power of Grayskull sure was with you. What about Skeletor? The last I saw of Skeletor was when he was chasing me. Zor's powers pulled me back through the tunnel just in time. Thank you, Sorceress, for helping me. It was you and Orko who saved the kingdom. I will always be near when you need me, He-Man. Besides, Orko was the hero of the day. Now I must return to the castle. Well, all you heroes, let's get back to the palace and let everyone in on the good news. We're all very proud of you, Orko. Accept this token of our gratitude. You are now Sir Orko, the knight. What's wrong? You should be happy, Sir Orko. I'm not really a hero. I don't deserve this medal. Why don't you think you are a hero? Because I was afraid. And brave men aren't afraid of anything. Come here, Orko. I want to explain something to you. Without fear, courage wouldn't exist. And courage to face a challenge when you are afraid is what bravery is all about. In spite of all odds, you took the challenge. And that is why you are truly a brave knight, Sir Orko. I'm truly a brave knight. I'm truly a brave... <laughs> Today, Orko was being chased by an evil robot. Orko was very frightened, but in the end, he overcame his fear and helped He-Man defeat the robot. All of us are frightened at one time or another, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Fear is natural. It makes us aware of possible danger. Without fear, we'd wind up in all kinds of trouble. So never feel guilty because you're afraid. Listen to your fears. They'll help you stay out of trouble. Until later. Bye now. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. The king said to thank you for lending this to him. I'm always glad to help. Can we go now, Adam? This place gives me the creep. Cringer, that's very rude. You apologize right now. I'm sorry you live in such a creepy place, sorceress. Cringer! That's all right, Adam. Sorceress, help us, please. What's that? It's the Silani. They're trying to contact me magically. Sorceress. 
Who are the Salani? The fairy folk. They live in the Whispering Valley. Oh, they're adorable. I can hear you. Tell me how I can help. A huntsman has entered the Mystic Mountains. He seeks our valley and the unicorn. A unicorn? I didn't think they still existed. There is only one left on all Eternia. The Silani are sworn to protect it. Who is this huntsman? His name is Baron Grod. Grod? Yes, I've heard of him. I will do what I can. Thank you, sorceress. Thank you. But please, hurry. If Grod's hunt is successful, the unicorn will vanish from our world. Then we've got to stop him. Well, there's no law against hunting, Tila. Well, there should be. I agree with you, Tila. But the prince is right. However, perhaps the Baron can be reasoned with. If he knows this unicorn is the last of its kind, he may stop his hunt. Well, I'll be glad to talk to him. Me too. His castle lies at the edge of the Mystic Mountains. We can be there in no time. You mean I have to go to? What are you afraid of now? Suppose this Baron decides to hunt me. I'd look terrible hanging on a wall. We'd never let anyone hang you on a wall, would we, Tila? Oh, of course not. Besides, you'd look better as a rug. A rug? Me? <laughs> I'm only teasing, silly. Well, I don't think it was very funny. A rug, indeed. I hope you can convince the Baron not to hunt the unicorn. We'll convince him, all right, one way or the other. We'll have a better chance if you control your temper. Prince Adam is right. Reason is always better than anger. I know, it's... Well, it's just when I think of him hunting down a poor, defenseless creature, I get so mad! I don't like the idea either, but we're dealing with a loyal nobleman, not with Skeletor. If you ask me, he's almost as bad as Skeletor. Well, we'll soon see. Goodbye, sorceress. Farewell, Prince Adam. And good fortune. That must be Grodd's castle. Let's hope the Baron's in. There. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia. We want to speak with Baron Grodd. Immediately! The Baron is on the practice range, Your Highness. If you'll wait, I'll send someone for him. Don't bother, we'll go ourselves. Where is it? That way. Target! <laughs> Let's have three this time. Pretty good shooting. Who are you? I am Prince Adam. And this is Tila, Captain of the Royal Guard, and my friend and companion, Cringer. Your Highness, forgive me for not recognizing you. I haven't been to the Royal Palace in a long time. Baron, we want to talk to you about a very important matter. Of course. But let's go inside where we can be more comfortable. Growler, come. <laughs> Cringer! Your pet is not very brave, is he? I built mine to fear nothing. Well, he has his moments. Unfortunately, this isn't one of them. Will you get down? You're embarrassing me. I'd rather be embarrassed than you. Hmm? A shame. Such a good-looking beast. <laughs> well, shall we go? Just lead the way. At least he thinks you look good, Cringer. He probably wants to make me into a coat. My trophies. I caught each animal myself. Magnificent, aren't they? Disgusting is more like it. All these poor animals. Control yourself. They, uh, yeah, they look almost alive. They are. I put them in a state of paralysis when I catch them. It preserves their natural beauty better. That monster! How can he be so cruel? Now, what is it you wish to speak about? Well, we understand you're about to hunt down a unicorn. Quite true. 
It will be my greatest hunt ever. Do you know that it's the last unicorn on Eternia? Of course. That's why it's such a valuable catch. No huntsman on this world can boast such a trophy. But the unicorn has a right to live, especially since it's the last of its kind. But it will live. In fact, it will live forever, just as all my trophies do. And I mean to have it. You can't reason with a villain like him, Adam. Calm down, Tila. You won't call off this hunt? That's correct. Well, in that case, I have no choice but to ask the king for a royal order against it. As much as I respect the royal family, you have no right to meddle in my affairs. And you have no right to hunt down the last unicorn for your own selfish pleasure. As I'm sure my father will agree. Goodbye, Baron. You sure told him, Adam. Good for you. Wait a goon, pal. Now wait, come back. You can't do this. We've got to get back to the palace immediately. Baron Grodd to Gamrak. Come in, Gamrak. Gamrak, this is Baron Grodd calling. Answer, you stupid ogre. Gamrak, here's you, Grodd. Speak. A wind raider has just left my castle, heading south. I want you to bring it down and take the passengers prisoner. Who are the passengers? Prince Adam and Tila, captain of the Royal Guard. Mm, very important people. A lot of risk. I'll pay well, as I always do. Of course, if you're afraid... I am chieftain of the ogres, of the Mystic Mountains. I fear nothing. But the pay must be double this time. Agreed. But no one must know I'm involved, and I don't want them harmed, only held for a while. It will be as you say. So much for the high and mighty Prince of Eternia. <laughs> the tractor beam. Hey, take it easy. It wasn't me. Something's locked on to us. It's a tractor beam and it's pulling us down. I'll give it full power. Maybe we can break loose. It's no good. That beam's too powerful. We're going to crash. Crash? You mean into the good ground? We'll have to jump for it. <laughs> this, you'll be in big trouble, Ogre. The king will not hear. No one will hear for a long, long time. I want to get out of here, Adam. I don't like this place. My sword. What are you going to do with us? <laughs> you will have a long, happy life as slaves in our mines. But mines are dirty and, and, and dark. I'm going to try something. Get ready to run for it. Enough talk. Take them to the mines. Not so fast, Dugly. Come on, Adam. Let's get out of here. Wait, my sword. I'll get it. Ranger, look out. <laughs> Get them! Get them all! This is far enough. Not for me, it's not. By the power of Grayskull!
Golden. Oh no! Can't turn back. This way! Look, it's Tila. Ah! He man! He man, what are you doing here? And where's there's no time to talk now. Adam's all right. Let's get out of here before those ogres improve their aim. They're right behind us! Time to slam the door on these ogres. I don't think they'll give us any more trouble. Now to stop Baron Grodd. You know about him? Uh, yeah, oh yes, of course. If he's the reason I'm here, and unless I miss my guess, he's already hunting the unicorn. The Huntsman. What shall we do? Hey, Nosy, over here. Growler, what? What's going on here? <laughs> Growler, your stun beam! That will take care of you. Now for the unicorn. There it is. What a marvelous trophy it will make. We should reach the Whispering Valley soon. I just hope we're in time. Go, Growler! <laughs> Away, Growler! Now, beast, we end the hunt. It's done. He went this way, all right! Too late. We have failed. The last unicorn is gone. We haven't failed yet. Come on. You may begin the paralyzation process. Soon, dear creature, you will be immortal. Baron Grodd, the castle is under attack. Attack? Come, Growler. He-Man, you go after 
Grodd. I can hold this crew back. Right. He-Man, why do you attack my castle? I want you to free that unicorn. Never. Growler. <laughs> Are you ready to give up? Not yet, He-Man. That's a mess, Baron. Is it? And now something for your cat to play with. No, no! Time to let go! In trouble. Come on. Stay away. Stay away. Good shot, Tila. You you saved me. It's not much fun being chased and trapped, is it? Now maybe you know how animals feel when you hunt them. I never realized. I've been a fool. I'll free the unicorn and all the other animals, too. Well, it looks like our work is finished. Not quite yet. And that's the whole story, Father. A most disturbing tale. But you say the Baron has seen the error of his ways. He has, Your Majesty. But there are many others who haven't. And that's why we ask your help. And you shall have it. I hereby decree that from this day on, the hunting of animals for sport is outlawed on Eternia. Looks like we've done it, Tila. Don't forget about He-Man. Oh, that's, that's one fella I never forget. In today's story, I was very angry at Baron Grodd. I was supposed to try and talk him out of hunting the unicorn, but I kept losing my temper. And when you lose your temper, you can't think clearly. We all get angry at times, but we should learn to control our tempers. It's better to stay cool and talk things out reasonably. Now, it's not always easy, but it's usually the best way to solve any problem. Until next time, bye. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. It has to be here. 
It it has to be here. Aha! Nothing. as good a spot as any. Do you think Orko is at Castle Grayskull yet? <laughs> Not if he used his magic. Well, he should be there by now. Let's give it a try. Orko, come in. This is Man-at-Arms calling. Orko, where are you? No wires. Hmm, I could do that. Orko, are you there? Of course I'm here. Orko, answer me. Yikes! How did you make yourself invisible? Calling Orko. Testing, testing. Testing? Oh, silly me. It's Man at Arms' new invention, the communicator. I have it here somewhere. Now, where did I put it? Ah! No, that's lunch. Hmm, I'll have to finish reading that sometime. No, not here. No, uh, well, it's here somewhere. Ah! Orko, are you there? I guess it doesn't work, Adam. Orko here? Works fine, man at arms. It's like you were standing next to me. Good, good. Uh, Adam wants to talk to the sorceress. She isn't here yet, but I can hardly wait for her so we can trade a little magic. I have a lot to show her. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Quiet, Granger. Orko, where is the sorceress? As far as I know, Sower is on the way. It should be over the sands of time about right now. Well, then you should see her soon. If nothing happens to delay her, what could happen? After a lifetime of being poor, I now have power. I can command the wind as my guardian. Wind, arise and blow! I have power over the creatures of the land. of the air are my subjects now. <laughs> a falcon, surely a good omen. Come, my pet, you will be the symbol of my kingdom. The kingdom of Nephthu, the mighty wizard. <laughs> Closely, Adam. If you don't land squarely with both feet, you'll go off balance. <sighs> this is the tenth time. I'm worn out. Well, you know, Tila. Keep trying till you get it right. Here goes. <laughs> Nothing to it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I guess that's enough for today. We'll try again tomorrow. And we'll keep trying until you get it right. If at first you don't succeed, what's the matter? Shh. Adam, help. Help me. Sorceress, where are you? Can you hear me? She's in trouble. Try to regain contact. Thank <laughs> you. 
man who rules the world should have a proper throne. <laughs> Is that not so, my feathered friend? Sorceress, can you hear me? Prince Adam, I hear you. I am weak and very far away, and I am chained. Where are you? What happened? I was flying over the sands of time. When I felt the presence of magic below, I tried to investigate when I... I was knocked out of the sky. Are you hurt? Just weak. I can't speak anymore. I'm... I'm... Sorceress? Sorceress, come back! Come back! Temple of the sun. I lost her. Do you know where she is? The Sands of Time, a place called the Temple of the Sun. We've got to rescue her. We? <laughs> Count me out. I, I, I hate sand. It, it gets in my eyes, in my claws. Sometimes you get it in your mouth. <laughs> I hate that. Sorry, you big furball, but this is something beyond our mere mortal powers. Besides, there's nothing to it. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> I know you don't enjoy this, old cat, but there is a quest for us. I know, but, but every time I turn into that battle cat, you get me into some kind of trouble. I'll make a deal with you. I'll go with you, but as Cringer. M maybe I can bring some common sense to this quest. All right, my feline friend. But when you change your mind, be sure to let me know. A chance. If you two are finished, I suggest it's time to go. Something is missing, my fair falcon. Ah, I know what it is. If I am to be lord over Eternia, I should have an army. An army to conquer the world. Sand. From the very desert that almost destroyed me. <laughs> Rise, rise, my sand demon. I hereby appoint you my general, the general of the wizard Neptune's army. And now for your army, my general. <laughs> I think you just imagined you heard a call for help. Now can we go home? Attack track, shouldn't we be coming across this temple soon? The data I have is only superficial. It is not a lot to go on for locating the temple. Maybe you should try to contact the sorceress again. All right. Sorceress, can you hear me? Sorceress? Anything? Nothing. It must be some powerful magic if she can't use her telepathy strong magic or she's no she's well and we will rescue her my monitors detect a man-made construction ahead by all indications this is the temple of the sun my monitors detect a strange wind condition warning noted track be prepared for a quick getaway let's look around Sorceress must be inside the temple. I wonder what the track meant by... He-Man, look! A dust devil. It's coming right at us, like it was alive. Track, back up! Will do, He-Man. Ranger, where are take some of the wind out of this blowhard. If I can just whirl fast enough in the opposite direction the wind is going. It's working. The wind is slowing down. I can feel it. But I don't feel a thing. Do something. Ready?
strange wind condition. That was an understatement. Attack track warned us. Next time, we'll just ask for more details. I have sand in my eyes, in my ears, and in my mouth. I hate it. I know I'm going to hate myself for this, but I think Battle Cat might be better suited for this kind of work. Well, it's a wise man or cat who admits to being wrong by the power of Grayskull. Not a moment too soon. Look. Look at the size of that. Watch out for the tail. It's poisonous. We'd better do something about this big bug. Monster is more like it. If you two can keep it busy for a minute, I think I have an idea. I can keep that nasty tail out of our way with my electro rope. I can hold on. Heeman, ah, what are you doing? Here's a quick science lesson. What is sand composed of? Beats me. Sand is a form of silica. And if you heat silica to its melting point, you get glass. So if I rub this sand fast enough and the friction creates enough heat to melt it, I will get glass. in a box. And it doesn't seem too happy about its new home. He'll dig his way out by tonight. Now, for the reason we came here in the first place, finding the sorceress. We better be careful. That sand tornado and giant scorpion were guarding something or someone. Ah, someone who doesn't want us here. Well, if we're not expected, then we'd better knock. And for that, we need a door. But where is it? I'll try the roof. We'll look for a front entrance. A scarab becomes stronger by the moment. Look, great bird, at my latest creation. Behold, this sand demon is as hard as rock. He is invincible. Nothing can defeat him. I will create others like him. Then I will set my army upon the world. Once I am the ruler of Eternia, I will make the falcon the symbol of my kingdom. Will that please you, my... No! I will not permit it. <laughs> So on. A diamond falcon. An even more precious symbol of my power. I am pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Arr, we've gone around the entire structure and there is no door. Then we'll make our own. <laughs> rest before I conquer the world. He-Man! Sorry about the wall, but you seem to be short a few doors. You don't frighten me. My power is beyond even you, He-Man. I am now the mightiest being in the universe. 
I don't know who you are, but don't... I am Nepthu, the most powerful wizard in the universe! There's no need to shout. Now, if you'll just turn that falcon back to its original state and set it free, my feline friend and I would appreciate it. You dare tell me what to do? Look, Battle Cat, company. It doesn't look like they want to shake hands. They aren't alive. They're just moving sand. You must stop them. Come on, Battle Cat. Let's scatter these walking piles of sand. Here, you can join your buddies. This is just like playing on the beach. look mighty grim, Battle Cat. Maybe some exercise would cheer them up. This is hard sand. Looks like we have our work cut out for us. Well, wizard. Looks like your army is coming apart. Want to give it another try? I don't need an army. Not when I have the scallop. <laughs> You'll not avoid me for long. Hey, man, here. No, no. You had something of unlimited power. It could have been used for good, but you misused it for your own selfish reasons, but no more. Good work, man-at-arms. My pleasure. It's too bad the scarab had to be destroyed. <laughs> it's a good thing it was. It, it was evil. No, Cringer. That scarab wasn't evil. It was just used for evil purposes. Besides, I've restored it. Look there. Why, it's Nephthu. Yes. He now tends the flowers in the evergreen forest. He seems very happy. And why shouldn't he be? The evil in him was destroyed with the scarab. But you said you restored it. And so I did. Lovely, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Now, that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me too. Today, we met Nephthu, a man who wanted to become a leader and became one. But Nephthu used his leadership for his own selfish glory, and in the end, he got what he deserved. Being a good leader takes a lot of responsibility. But you must also be responsible when you follow a leader. Don't do something wrong or dangerous because someone tells you to. Think before you act. We can't all be leaders, but we can all choose what's right and wrong for ourselves. the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, by the power of Grayskull. became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> 
the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Greyskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. This is the life, eh, Cringer? A sunny afternoon, a hearty lunch, and a beautiful view to paint. Well, at least it's peaceful. Just call me Adamo da Vinci. I think I'll get a little more water coloring in before lunch. On second thought, uh, lunch now, painting later. Mmm. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, Orko. Orko! Orko, be careful! Whoops! <laughs> what in the... Sorceress? I am projecting my thoughts to you from here in Castle Grayskull. Something is wrong here at the castle. I dare not take the form of Zoar the Falcon in order to summon you in person. You must come to Grayskull at once, as He-Man. I'm on my way, Sorceress. By the power of Grayskull! Castle Grayskull, Cat. What in the world's going on? Well, it looks like the sorceress is throwing some kind of far out party. <laughs> The sorceress wasn't fooling when she said something was wrong here. Let's go find her. Sorceress, are you all right? Yes, He-Man. Whatever is happening, it seems to be harmless. It's almost as if something was trying to get your attention. He-Man, you just may be on to something. Offhand, I'd say whoever it is is trying a little too hard. Oh, mystic mirror, all seeing, all knowing, this strange intruder to us now be showing. Thank you, sorceress. It's such hard work trying to get your attention. Sandor, ah, uh, I might have known it was you. You're being rather bold in light of your past crime. Uh, what, er, uh, I mean, who is he? Sorceress? That, He-Man, is Xanthor, former keeper of Eternia's greatest treasure, the golden disks of knowledge. And a very poor keeper he was. The crime was mine, Sorceress. I will tell my own story. Long ago, He-Man, the wisest men and women in the universe came here to Eternia to store their knowledge on the golden disks. The Council of the Wise made me the disc's keeper. Yes. And then came Skeletor. In a moment of weakness, I gave the discs to Skeletor, who promised me great power in return. 
You can see for yourself what power I received, He-Man. None for my crime. I was banished to the Phantom Dimension, doomed forever to travel throughout Eternia as an invisible phantom with no body. Your story is a sad one, Xanthor. Sadder than you know, He-Man. Skeletor is a constant threat to us because of the knowledge he gained from the Golden Discs. Because you betrayed us, Xanthor. But if you're a phantom, how did you cause all that commotion just now? I know the evil of my crime, and I know the Council's punishment was just, but I also know there is still good within me. By concentrating on that good, I was able to have some power in the world of men again, and I used it to summon you. Because I want to make up for my crime. I wish to appeal to the Council, but I need your help. No, Xanthor. You received a fair hearing. Your punishment was just. I cannot go against the decision of the Council of the Wise. But perhaps... What, Hema? You know what's best, Sorceress, but if there is enough good left in Xanthor to bring him this far back into our dimension, perhaps he deserved to be heard. You make a convincing argument, He-Man. Xanthor, it looks like you have a champion. The only remaining member of the original council is Zodak. I will try to summon him here. Thank you, both of you. Since the Council of the Wise disbanded, I have served the overlords of the Eternal Dimension, keeping watch on the affairs of mortal men, but never interfering. But since this matter involves a decision made when I was on the Council, I will hear you out, Xanthor. I am grateful, Zodak. I wish to be released from the Phantom Dimension so that I may atone for my crime. And how do you intend to do this? By returning the golden disks of knowledge from Skeletor's clutches. And what makes you think you can? Because I know where he has hidden them. What? How do you know this? I have been to Snake Mountain in my phantom form, unseen by Skeletor. I even tried to take them from him, but in my phantom form I could not hold them. And how do we know that this isn't more of your treachery? Perhaps you plan to sell the discs again to a higher bidder than Skeletor. Zodak, I swear I will give them only to you. Release me and let me get them back. And you think you could take on Skeletor's evil alone? But he's not alone. With your permission, I would like to accompany Xanthor. Hey, man, why should you risk yourself by helping a known traitor? Because I believe everyone deserves a second chance. So be it. Step forth from the mirror, Xanthor, into our dimension. You will keep your phantom form, but you will have the abilities of a mortal man. Thank you, Zodak. I won't let you down. Come, Xanthor, let's go. You said it, cat! With any luck, we should be at Skeletor's lair by daybreak. Look, don't remind me, that place gives me the creeps. To Snake Mountain, cat. <laughs> Snake Mountain. Now we must somehow climb to the top without being noticed. No, He-Man. When I came here as a phantom, I found a secret entrance down here. It's behind those falls. Follow me. It looks safe enough. Come on. I smell a trap. <laughs> Your nose isn't that sensitive, cat. Come on. I'm worried. This door must be linked to the central controls. If I break it down, Skeletor is sure to know we're here. He'll find out when we break into the vault the discs are kept in anyway. You think it's a trap, cat? Maybe. 
Skeletor's chambers are at the top of the mountain. The discs are down here. We can be in and out and gone before he can do anything about it. I hope you're right, for all our sakes. Here goes. Here are the vaults, all right. Yeah, but which vault are the discs in? The first one on the right. of knowledge. Xanthor, were these discs made of gold or just painted gold? They were made of solid gold, of course. Then these are fakes. What? But why? Skeletor probably made phony discs to fool anyone who came looking for them. <laughs> you guess correctly, E-Man. But you'll never find the real discs. And you, Xanthor, it'll take more than the Council of the Wise to save you from my clutches this time. When you broke the vault lock, it set off my silent alarm. You should have run while you had the chance. Now it's too late. <laughs> You've lost your freedom as well! Now what do we do? Xanthor, if Zordak was correct and you still are a phantom, you should be able to walk right through this forest cage. You're right, He-Man. Orko, can you conjure your way out of this forest cage? Uh, yeah, I guess I can. I have a plan. Your phantom powers were enough to get the sorceress pretty worried back at Grayskull. See if you can do the same with Skeletor. Maybe you can distract him long enough for Orko to turn off the force field machine. We're right on it, He-Man. Let's go, Orko. I don't like it. Don't be so suspicious, Cat. <laughs> this is a treat. I've bagged all four of those do-gooders with one trap. Xanthar led us into two traps. I trust him, Cat. He'll get us out of here. Force field control, force field control. Ah, here it is. Well, what did I tell you? I smell danger. Uh, I think you're wrong this time, Cat. <laughs> On the other hand, you may have something there. Beast Man, Evil Lynn. Trap jaw. Oh, don't you hate it when unexpected company drops in, Cat? This time we have you, He-Man. My freeze ray will hold you. On me, Skeletor. You! Yikes! We better get out of here! I only hope He Man and Battle Cat had enough time to get free. There's no escape for you now! My force field generator! I must turn it back on! <laughs> I'd say you three are the ones with an escape route. <laughs> well, we're free. And Skeletor's hunt on our trail. And we still don't know where the real discs are. Hey, man, I've been thinking. 
Skeletor built Snake Mountain with the knowledge he gained from the discs, so wouldn't it stand to reason that he hid the real discs by building Snake Mountain right on top of them? You're right. To the vault room, everyone. I bet Skeletor placed the duplicate discs here to mark the spot where the real ones are buried. but more rock. No, I see light. Come on, you three. The golden discs of knowledge. He-Man, just because you found the discs doesn't mean you can keep them. You're about to find out why I call this Snake Mountain. Just move away. Snakes won't follow you. But the discs are on the other side of the canyon. I know. Leave that to me. Mimi! What are you doing? Xanthor, <laughs> get the discs. Hurry. for your crime, eh, Xanthor? Why not give me the discs? I'll give you something in return. Those long years you spent helpless in the Phantom Dimension, they must have been painful. Yes, they were. Don't listen to him, Xan. Xanthor must make his own decision, Orko. It was torture, wasn't it? To be invisible in the world of men, unable to touch anyone, to speak to anyone. It was horrible. Then give me the discs. I will free you from the Phantom Dimension forever. And together we will attack Zodak and your other enemies who put you there. Zodak is not my enemy. You are Skeletor. No! Come back! So long, Skeletor. Oh, by the way, you've got company. Back, you fool! It's me! It's me! I was wrong about you, Xanthor. I'm sorry. I can understand why you felt that way, Cat. You have done well, Xanthor. And you too, He-Man. I am glad the discs are safe once more. My crime was unforgivable, Zodak. I am grateful for this chance to undo what I have done. We have all learned from this. The overlords of the Eternal Dimension have decided that there are too many Skeletors in the universe to allow the discs to become openly available. Therefore, I, as Cosmic Enforcer, Watcher of the Universe, shall be their guardian. However, keeping watch over the universe is a big task for one man. I need an assistant, someone I can trust. Henceforth, you, Xanthor, shall travel at my side. <laughs> as a cosmic enforcer. Zodak, I don't know what to say. Say nothing. Our task is to watch, and it's time we got to it. Farewell, He-Man, and thank you. It was my pleasure, Xanthor. Orko? How come 
I might never get any credit. <laughs> <laughs> In today's episode, Xanthor committed a crime, but when he was given a chance to make up for it, he came through with flying colors. You know, it's important to give our friends a chance to make up for their mistakes. Of course, if they continue to do wrong, we might want to think about whether we really want them for a friend or not. But many wrongdoers do see the error of their ways. All they need is a second chance. Everybody deserves that. And the Masters of the Universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and Defender of the Secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. to see the mystery of the vanishing Orko. Now, Father, be nice. Orko's been practicing this trick all week. Adam, if you will please, enter the magic cabinet. Well, I'm glad it's Adam in that box and not me. Oh, I hope he'll be all right. And now for the magic words. Miggle, maggle, muggle, mirror, Prince of Eternia, disappear! Hey, wait a minute. Father! Hmm. That wasn't supposed to happen. I better reverse the spell. Miggle, maggle, muggle, mac, man at arms, please come back! Uh oh! Now the king and queen are gone! And us too! I, I, I did it again! I made everybody disappear but Adam! Adam! I better see if he's all right! Adam! Are you still in there? <laughs> Whew, it sure got crowded in there. Mm, I should have known better than to be anywhere near one of Orko's goofy tricks. I think I used too much miggle. Not enough muggle. If we could try it just one more time. I think we've had quite enough magic for today, Orko. But your majesty! Orko, I said, no more magic. But I'm not doing this. Y you're not? It's my magic pyramid, the one I left to Trolla. Triel! Orko. Ah, it's so good to see you. How are things in good old Trolla? Not so good. Your Uncle Montauk has been replaced as head of the Academy of Magic. What? A young wizard named Snoob claimed he was too old for the job. He challenged your uncle to a duel of magics. And Montauk lost. Impossible! My uncle's the best wizard in Trolla. He's very upset, Orko. I'd better go back to Trolla and have a talk with him. I knew you'd want to help. Well, I'd like to come along too, Orko. Your uncle's helped all of us in the past. Gee, I I'd take you along, but you're too big for the magic pyramid. I'll have the sorceress send Gringer and me through one of her magic gates. M -m me? I, I don't want to go. I, I hate magic gates. They, they make my whiskers itch. All right. Adam, you see the sorceress, and we'll meet you at my uncle's house. Come on, Cringer. We're going to Castle Grayskull. Oh, joy. <laughs> Dorf! 
doorbell. Will you get it, please, Gark, and send whoever it is away? I'm not in the mood for visitors. Gark, I told you. Buckle, oh, my boy. Hey, hiya. Oh, get that, Gark. It's good to see you, lad. Very good. Well, when Driel told me what happened, I just had to come. Happened? Why, nothing has happened. Oh, uh, come on, Unc. I know all about you getting replaced as head of the Academy of Magic. Oh, uh, that. Well, you needn't worry yourself about that, lad. I was about ready to retire anyway. I'm getting too old to work magic. Hey, Unc. This is me, Orko, remember? You don't have to pretend with me. Oh, Orko, you're right. I am pretending. I just can't believe this has happened. <laughs> oh. Tell me about it, Unc. Maybe there's something I can do. Well, it all came as a big surprise to me. Snoop was one of my best students, but I never knew how ambitious he really was. Things were all right when the contest began. Snoop's tricks were very good, but I matched him trick for trick. And then something went wrong. I felt weak, as if my power were fading. I tried another trick. It was a complete disaster. From then on, none of my tricks worked. The Crimson Council decided Snoop was right about my being too old and made him head of the Academy of Magic. Oh, nonsense. You're as good a magician as you ever were. There must be another reason why your tricks failed. Right. And I'm going to find out what it is, starting with a little visit to Snoop. <laughs> Your gate to Trolla is ready, Adam. Ready for our little trip, Cringer? I, I told you before, I don't want to go. Orko's dimension is full of uh, spooky stuff. Oh, don't be silly. I'm not being silly. I'm being careful, and, and I'm also not going. All right, if you won't go with me, I know someone who will. Good. Namely, Battle Cat. By the power of Grayskull! Oh, Adam, that's cheating! It's not right. I think we should take a look around inside. Gark, you wait for us here. That'll dabble dibble do. One quick wink and off we go. Orko, it's Snoob. Quick, let's hide. Come on, let's follow him. What took you so long? I had to get rid of a pest. Are you ready to continue your lesson in magic? Right. Saga, Soga, Simba, See. Uh, Saga, uh, Sofa, Simbo. Who is that terrible creature? His name's Whiplash. He's one of Skeletor's men. And it looks like Snoob's teaching him trawling magic. No, no, that's all wrong! If you ever expect to learn this magic... Ah, I better learn it, or you'll be sorry. Snoob, I need your magic on Eternia, so I can show Skeletor what I am really worth. I wouldn't count on that, Lizard Breath. You 
<laughs> your He-Man's friend. That's right, Whiplash. And I'm turning you and Snoop over to the Crimson Council. Yeah. <laughs> Is that so? Use your magic before he uses his to break out. <laughs> Snoop, you traitor! <sighs> Take them to your fortress. I will be along in a while. <laughs> It's not exactly a picnic spot, is it? Help! Help! Montor! I've got to free Montor. Ah, that monster nearly had me. Ah, look out, He-Man! I've had about enough! That'll teach him to put the squeeze on us. Yourself, Snoob. Orko's right. What kind of a trawling are you? He's the scared kind. <laughs> and if he's smart, he'll stay that way. My uncle would never have taken that from a bully like him. <sighs> That's why I helped this wimp beat your uncle. What do you mean? I want to do with Montor myself! Ah, <sighs> you, um. You never could have beaten Montauk without me. I hid nearby during the duel and used a ray on him that weakened his power for a while. I knew it! I knew Snoob could never beat my uncle fairly. What have I done? I was so proud of myself, and now... It's not too late. You can still do the right thing. Stop Whiplash! Yeah! Yeah, you're right! I have to stop him! So, you're not only a fool, Snoob, you're a traitor as well. Take him! There it is, the Chrome Fortress. Checks! This should slow them down. <sighs> for a little spin. <laughs> the crooms have closed the gates. Then let's knock. Let's 
us go. Right with you, He-Man. <sighs> you three have the honor of being my first victims on trial. But soon... <laughs> what? coming to save us. We gotta get loose. And now that Whiplash is gone... Come on! Hey! What about me? <laughs> Why should I trust you after what you did? But I can help! I want to! He did try to save us, Orko. And we can't just leave him like this. Well, all right, if you think we should. When I find out who dares to attack me... <laughs> He-Man! Whiplash, so you're behind this. Where's my nephew, you villain? Stop them! <laughs> Battle Cat and I will handle this crowd. You see if you can find Orko. <laughs> like Whiplash wants to play some more. I'll give him something to play with. I'm going to give it to you now. And I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> nice work, Riel. Well, with all this magic and muscle around, I had to contribute something. <laughs> Whew. Yes? Let me out of here! Let me out! Let me out! Well, I think it's time to go home. I was wrong, Montork. I know that now. I guess in my desire to be important, I forgot how much experience is worth. I'm very sorry. 
You ought to be. Now, now, nephew, I think Snoob has learned his lesson. Besides, it's all in custom to forgive and forget. Hmm. Uncle's right, Oracle. Please forgive Snoob for me. Pretty please. Well, all right. I forgive you, Snoob. Thanks, Orko. That means a lot to me. Well, it's about time for us to be getting back to Eternia, Orko. The sorceress's gate won't last much longer. But you can't leave, not before our celebration feast. Why, there's a whole roast gooble in the oven. Roast gooble? That's my absolute favorite. Well, I suppose we can stay a little longer. Right, Cat? Uh, what about Whitlash? Oh, he'll keep. Bring on the feast, Montork. Roast Gobo? <laughs> <laughs> In our tale today, Snoob learned a very important lesson. He found out that when young people and older people work together, they can accomplish a great deal. You see, older people have experience that can help young people if they're willing to listen, and that's why you should always respect older people and pay attention to the advice they give you. Well, Orko, for once you're right. Aren't I always? Until later. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. This looks like the ideal place. Here? In the middle of nowhere? This is hardly a picnic spot. We aren't here for a picnic. We're here to test this invention. Okay, Track, stop. Whatever you say, Adam. But I can't imagine a more desolate spot on the whole planet. Which is exactly what we need to test this device. Whatever you say, man at arms. But I still don't. Like it. Father, will you please explain why we had to come all the way out here? Because it isn't the sort of thing I want to fool around with near the palace. It's a portable teleportation device. Oh, a teleportation device, of course. I should have known. Uh, what is it? <laughs> it could move an object anywhere instantly. For example, you see that boulder? Suppose we need to move it to the top of that mountain. Now watch. Father, that's wonderful. Duncan, you mean this box of yours can transport anything or anyone anywhere? Yeah, what a prize for Skeletor. With that teleporter, he could stage a sneak attack on King Randall or even Castle Grayskull. When the battery's fully charged, it can transport four or five people at once. I, I hope that doesn't apply to sorcerers. Certainly. Care to try it? No, no, I can do that sort of thing myself, you know. <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> Don't worry, Orko. After all, anyone can make a mistake. I dare say my device is a little more accurate, Orko. Let's see how it works on a human being. Suppose I needed to get across this canyon. Father, are you sure it's safe? Perfectly. All right, here I go. Now's my chance. There's someone else over there. Father, look out! Prep jaw. Now, give me the teleporter. Never. Heads up, you two. Let's throw. Here it comes. Great catch, Tila. I've lost a teleporter, but maybe I have something more valuable. A man who invented it. Hey, listen, you two. I'll trade your man at arms for that box. Don't listen to him. What do we do? Our only hope is to teleport man at arms out of there. This should send him back to the past. No deal, Trapjaw. Then you'll never see him again. Well, you won't, that's for sure. <laughs> What? Uh, no! Now you don't have anything, Trapjaw. But what's to stop him from coming after us for the box? Simple. Attack track. <whistles> Go get him! And what's help? No! Let him go, Track. We've got to get back to the palace and make sure Man at Arms is all right. I just hope I set the controls right. <laughs> now, where in the world did Tila teleport me to? from Trapjaw, that's for sure. Don't be too sure of that, man at arms. With your skill at defense weapons, you'll be worth a hundred teleporters to Skeletor. Leisurely journey to Snake Mountain. <laughs> it's no use, Tila. No one's heard a word from Man at Arms since we left. Wasn't he wearing a communicator? Oh, well, I tried contacting him. Nothing. But I was sure I set the teleporter to bring him back here. Oh, Adam, suppose I made a mistake. Suppose he reappeared over the ocean, or in it, or, or in the eternal desert. Suppose he just never reappeared at all. I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, don't you see? I used that teleporter when I wasn't sure how it worked. I'm to blame. It's my fault. Snake Mountain. You're gonna be spending a lot of time there working for us. Today I committed a terrible error in judgment. Because of me, we have lost our great teacher, inventor and warrior, and I have lost a father. I made an unforgivable mistake. I am not fit to be captain of the guard. I resign from my post. Tila, you're being much too hard on yourself. I refuse your resignation. Then I have no choice but to exile myself to the wastelands. Tila, no! I'm sorry, but I leave tonight. A solid force field cage. Very clever, Skeletor. That's a high compliment coming from a mind as brilliant as yours. But enough with niceties. Get to work. And how do you intend to make me work? You want to eat, don't you? 
When you're half starved, believe me, you'll do anything I say. Hmm, good point. I was tinkering on another teleporter. I suppose I could finish it. Splendid! But finish it on paper. I want plans, not finished products. After all, you might try to teleport yourself out of here. You can use that box as a model for the teleporter. When I return, I wish to see it completed. That's what you wish, Bonehead. <laughs> Try to find some parts and see what I can do. Tila, you're not really leaving. Yes. I don't deserve to live here anymore. But, Tila, anybody can make a mistake. That is a luxury the captain of the guard just can't afford. We are all human, Tila. Man-at-arms is out there somewhere. I just know he is. center all night. You need some rest, my boy. I'm sorry, Father. I was hoping that if Man-at-Arms was somewhere out there, he might somehow get a message through. I understand, son. Good night. Uh, good night, Father. Man-at-Arms, where are you? Adam. Hello? Who are you? Come in. Adam. Is that you? Man-at-Arms, where are you? At Snake Mountain. Skeletor's got me in his dungeon. I managed to rig a communicator, but I can't talk long. I knew you'd be standing by, Adam. I need your help. I'm on my way. See you soon. But first, I'd better find Tila and tell her. If she doesn't help save her father, she'll never get her self-confidence back. Hey, a man-at-arms teleporter may come in handy. <laughs> This will be my home from now on. <laughs> that was close. Looks like Tila may need some help from He-Man. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull! for your help, but I don't deserve it. Look, Taylor. Oh, please don't start. I'm sure you've heard what I did, and nothing you can say will make me go back. Oh? And what if I were to say that we heard from Man-at-Arms? He's all right? He is? If you can call being Skeletor's prisoner all right. Oh, we've got to rescue him! I had a feeling you'd say that. May I tell you how pleased I am to hear that your father is all right? Oh, thank you, Track. Now, let's go and rescue him. I think we'd better go on foot from here. I will be waiting, E-Man. If you need me, just whistle. You did well, Trapjaw. With Man-at-Arms designing weapons for me, nothing will stop me. Not even He-Man. 
Perhaps he can even help me perfect this new heat ray. I really must stop burning my walls like that. Alert! Alert! Unauthorized activity near level one. Oh, that's near Man at Arms Cell. Don't just stand there, fools! Any bright ideas about how to get in, Tila? I was hoping you'd have one. Man at Arms said he was in a dungeon. Now we could either climb all the way up to the top and then climb all the way down to the dungeon, or I could just punch a hole right here. It'd make a bit of noise, though. Which could be just what we need. Skeletor and his goons are bound to notice us anyway. So when they come running, you create a diversion, and I'll free Man at Arms. It still sounds awfully noisy. Yes, but I like it that way. Simple and direct. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Simple and direct, huh? We're inside one of Skeletor's vaults. Relax. I'll have us out of here in no time. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Now you head up there and do something to get their attention. They should be showing up any time now. Good luck. This seems like a good place to get Skeletor's attention. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to find out. Hmm, that looks promising. <laughs> Not to mess with machines without finding out how they work. Even! I knew you'd get through. We've got to hurry. Tila's upstairs creating a diversion, but it may not last long. How do we break this force cage? We can't. The controls aren't even in this room. Yeah. Well, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Good thing I brought this. The teleporter. Let me see it. Uh oh, the battery's low. There's only enough power to teleport two of us out of here. Then it'll be you and Tila. I'll find her. This is more of a diversion than I intended to make. Enough of this. We have you now, Tila. Fire! This'll put the flames out. Bye, guys. So, He-Man is here. This gives me a chance to test my latest invention. Even Man-at-Arms would be hard-pressed to top this. Tila? Hey, man, did you find my father? This way. You mean the teleporter can only take two of us back? I'm afraid so. Then you and He-Man go, I'll make it back all right. Don't be foolish. He-Man has a much better chance of getting out on his own. Here you are, Tila. Now, set it. Me? Oh, no. If I hadn't made a mistake with that teleporter yesterday, we wouldn't be in this mess. I don't ever want to touch it again. No, Tila, you must do it. But I failed. Please don't make me do it again. You did not fail. You did what you thought was right. That isn't failure. But I'm afraid. There isn't time for this, Tila. Skeletor must know where we are. He'll be down here any second. And they'll have us and the teleporter. Now set the controls. I can't. Please. Have faith in yourself, Tila. We do. I guess... I guess you're right. That's the spirit, daughter. How do I set it? Well, I designed it to automatically return to the palace in an emergency. Just line up the crosshairs. We did it! What did I tell you? This is the only way to travel. Oh, 
getting out of here should be a breeze. Or did I speak too soon? I have you now, you muscle-bound oaf! <laughs> You'll have to do better than that, Skeletor! And so I shall! My freeze ray will stop you! Put that down! So long, Skeletor. Drop me a line if you ever get this thing down from here. Where are you going? Come back! Oh, and uh, watch that first step. It's a Lulu. For this he man, I promise you that. To celebrate your safe return home, and to celebrate Tila's return as captain of the guard, I shall now perform my latest magic trick. I shall change this lump of coal into a diamond ring. By the powers of laughter and mirth, change this coal to a thing of worth. <laughs> oh, funny, I worked in a lab. Don't worry, Orko. After all, everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> Today, Tila made a mistake, but instead of trying to correct it, she ran away. That was an even bigger mistake. Making mistakes is part of being human, but punishing yourself or quitting because of it is no way to make things better. The right thing to do is accept your error and try not to make that same mistake again. That's a lot smarter than running away. Until our next exciting adventure, goodbye for now. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Station's ice radar. What? Well, the more the merrier. Faster than the eye can follow. <laughs> Someone's trying to steal the ice radar. <laughs> She got through. Well, I think we need a little help here.
What's up, Orko? Up, not up! Down! Look! Come on, Cringer, we've got to save Philip. What do you mean, we? I, I, I'm getting out of here. By the power of Grey Sky. Ah, mind your manners, Whiplash. <sighs> How about a polite introduction to this? Let's keep things neat. This belongs here. And you belong where you can't make any more trouble. Bye-bye, Whiplash. Have a nice trip. And don't give our regards to Skeletor. And what's more, Philip neglected to call the guard. Why, Philip, you know what you're supposed to do when there's danger. I was going to call them, but I just didn't have time. And I wasn't near the alarm button, and... Why doesn't he just own up? Why doesn't he just stop making all these excuses? So you made a mistake. Why didn't you tell him what happened? I don't know what you're talking about. They should call you Wimp Lash. Ah, just give me another chance to get my claws on that ice raider. Quiet, or I'll turn you into a suitcase. I agree with you, Tila. Philip has to learn to accept responsibility. I'm going to transfer you, Philip, up to the top of the world to help guard the weather station. But that's for losers. I don't want to go. <laughs> They're playing right into my hands. He'll have to use the ice raider. Icer, where are you? Here. Where else would I be? I still can't get through that protective screen to the weather station. You will be able to now. The fools are sending a new guardsman. When he lowers the screen to go in, that's your chance. The weather station is where we control the climate for all of Eternia. And I'm being exiled up there? It's not fair. Well, that's not true, Philip. It's an important post and a good place to learn responsibility. When you see the protective screen around the weather station, pull this lever to deactivate it. Don't pull it until the last second and release it as soon as you're through the screen. Philip, are you listening? What? Oh, sure, sure. Today I can get through on my own. I'd better test it. Maybe it's not working. And then again, maybe it is. Five, four, three, two, one, now! Oh, I almost forgot. Finally, I'm on the inside. Now we'll make some real weather. Whoa. It's your job to check the building. The doors are sealed against the weather. Make sure they're all locked tightly. Here's your freeze rod. Use it to stop any intruder. Any questions? <laughs> this is simple enough. Hey, it's not so cold out there.
please! I'll be glad to. Oh, thanks. I needed that. Is one slip too many for you? Something wrong at the weather station. Look at the size of that glacier. It's getting larger every hour. And coming toward us. You'll have to fly up there and see what's wrong, Tila. She can't. Whatever has caused this weather has filled the atmosphere with negative ions. There's no communication and nothing can fly. In that case, I'll go check out the attack track. You don't have to go with me, Adam. Good, it's c c cold up there. Then you'd better pack your earmuffs, Cringer. We're leaving right away. That's another reason we've got to turn back the glacier before it destroys all the animals' homes. Hey, wait up! I, I got bad news up there. Somehow, I don't think those trolls are a welcoming committee. We'll have to send the attack track back and go up the glacier on foot. But first, we've got to get past those trolls. I don't think that drat likes me. I'll go see if we can get around them. Come on, Granger. Adam, wait! Oh, never mind. I'll have to do this myself. By the power of Grey Skull! <laughs> Margadorn Sagarta! I think that means no dice. Why don't you take care of that draft, cat? So, that's the way you want to play, huh? <laughs> well, I guess I took care of that. And I'm going to take care of those trolls. Not if I use my patented bank shot. Thanks, He-Man. What are you doing here? You're having trouble with the weather station, aren't you? Yes. Adam's off looking for another way to go. Well, we'd better not wait for him. What about the trolls? By the time they figure out how to get out of there, we'll be long gone. How are we going to get through? Nothing can penetrate the protective screen. Orko, don't! I think there's a better way. My sword can absorb the energy. He-Man. I don't know how he got in, but it wasn't my fault. 
I was very careful to... That's enough, Philip. So it's Icer we're up against. That means Skeletor's behind this. Well, what else is new? I'll go see if there's any other way to get inside. We'll have to find Icer and stop him. You help Tila. I'll see about getting us in there. I can't find her! Showers, tornadoes to order. Mm, the temperature in ancient sub levels must never drop below the blue line on the thermometer. See footnote. Because it would wake the great caterchillers frozen into the ice below. The great caterchiller? Oh boy. <coughs> he man! He man? Uh, where'd everybody go to? <laughs> Yikes! Taylor! Taylor! Battle Cat's found something. Isa must have done it. Hell, I got news. What's up? We've got to get Tila out of there. Stand back. I've got to find a place where there's a crack. Uh, here's one. Now to hit it just right. Thanks. It was cold in there. Where is Icer? Mm, he'll turn up. We can count on that. Never mind him now. We've got to find the sub-levels below us, closer to the center of Eternia. Spread out and look for the way down. Oh, my, I forgot to tell He-Man about the great caterchiller. Phew, at least it's still asleep. Correction, it used to be... Long fella, uh, aren't you? <laughs> it's been nice talking to you, but uh, I gotta. Uh -oh. I'm getting nowhere fast. <laughs> to be the butterfly, not me. You do hang out in the strangest places, Orko. Oh no, you're not going to rope me in. <laughs> to see you get all strung up. Now I know how a cop feels. That caterchiller's not mean. You've just disturbed his sleep. Time for your beauty nap. When you wake up, you'll be a gorgeous butterfly. Icer should be guarding these steps. He must be around. He's in the wall. Now, if we could just keep him there. Orko, do you have your perma powder along? I sure do. I'll perma powder him right where he is. He won't be going anywhere. Good. You take care of that, then free Philip. I've got to get to the heat source. Let's see. I, I think pink must be for perma. Uh, now, that'll take care of Icer. I think green is for go, so here goes Philip. Uh, 
Uh, get him mixed up. Don't just stand there, come on! It was sure cold there. Thanks, Uncle. This is as far as we can go. Well, the good news is the crop's free. The bad news is, so is Icer. How did that happen? Oh, I goofed the powders. It was all my fault. We'll talk about that later. Now we've got to get to the center of Eternia and bring in some heat. What are you telling them that for? If you let people know you made a mistake, they won't like you. Boy, if that were true, I wouldn't have a friend in the world. And I'm a very popular fellow. <laughs> you better go ahead, He-Man. I'll hold him off. I am going to stop He-Man That's what you think, you base. <laughs> Don't touch him, Battle Cat. You'll freeze. <laughs> Here, Captain! I see icers running in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> the heat melted the ice in the control room. The guards were all right, and we were able to adjust the weather controls. I want to thank you all for saving Etania. But how did this happen in the first place? It was all my fault, Your Majesty. If it hadn't been for me, Icer would have never gotten in there. It looks as though you've learned to take responsibility, Philip. Hey, you took the plane. Aren't you afraid they won't like you? Not a chance. I saw you take the blame, and you're a very popular fellow. As for you, Adam... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Where were you when I... Uh, he's never around when I need him. But you have to admit, it's nice when he is around, isn't it? Yes, it is. But don't you dare tell him I said so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how are things going at the weather station, Philip? Well, it's lots of work and plenty of responsibility. But you know, part of growing up is learning how to be a responsible person. That's for sure. Whether a job is big or small, it's nice when you know that you're the kind of person people can depend upon to get the job done. That's right, Tila. Being responsible means you can be depended upon. And that's a big step toward becoming a winner. <laughs>